Ever looked down at your dashboard and noticed your speedometer isn't moving, or worse, giving you the wrong reading? It's not just annoying, it can be dangerous and illegal. So, why does this happen? There are several reasons your speedometer could be acting up. Let's go through the most common ones. 1. Faulty speed sensor. The speed sensor monitors your vehicle's speed and sends data to the speedometer. If it fails, your speedometer may read incorrectly or not at all. 2. Broken speedometer cable. In older vehicles, a physical cable runs from the transmission to the speedometer. If this cable snaps or wears out, no speed signal gets through. 3. Blown fuse. Sometimes, it's as simple as a blown fuse. Electrical issues can cut off power to the speedometer. 4. Bad instrument cluster. If the speedometer is part of a digital instrument cluster, a failure in the cluster itself could be to blame. 5. ECU or wiring problems. The engine control unit processes speed data. Faulty wiring or a malfunctioning ECU could send the wrong signals. Now let's talk about solutions. Depending on the cause, you might be able to fix the issue yourself, or you may need a professional. 1. Scan for error codes. Start by scanning your car's computer with an OBD2 scanner. This helps pinpoint sensor or ECU issues. 2. Inspect and replace the speed sensor. If the sensor is faulty, it's usually a quick and inexpensive fix. 3. Check fuses. Look for any blown fuses related to the instrument panel or sensors, and replace them with the correct amperage. 4. Cable or cluster replacement. Mechanical cables can be replaced. For digital issues, the whole instrument cluster might need repair or replacement. 5. Visit a mechanic. If you're unsure or dealing with complex wiring or ECU issues, don't hesitate to get a pro involved. A faulty speedometer might seem like a small issue, but it's one you shouldn't ignore. Whether it's a simple sensor swap or a deeper electrical fix, staying informed keeps you safe and in control. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, hit that like button and subscribe for more car tips and how-tos. Got questions? Drop them in the comments.